Now the periodic table contains all the atoms and elements of the universe and it contains it in a particular order, that order being hydrogen number one. That one tells you that there's one positive proton, one neutral neutron and one negative electron. Helium being two has two protons, two neutrons, two electrons and so forth. Now you can see that on the periodic table they're all neutral, they balance each other out. The positive stuff balances out with the negative stuff and so on. Now some of these a subset of these elements we need in our body in a charged form, not a neutral form. And the most abundant of these include sodium, magnesium, chlorine, potassium and calcium. And like I said, we need it in a charged form. In the body, it can either be positively charged, which we call a cation, or negatively charged, which we call an ion. An ion. Now cumulatively, we just call them ions. The thing is, how do we get it from this neutral form to a charged form? All right, so chlorine being 17, the 17 tells you there's 17 electrons. Now the electrons sit on the outside, they're the easiest to exchange. It wants to be like its closest noble gas. Now the noble gases is this column on the side. Like in the name, they think they're the best, they're noble. They don't want to change and they've fooled some other elements into wanting to be like them, chlorine being one. Chlorine has 17 electrons, wants to be like argon with 18. How does it do it? It needs to gain an electron. So chlorine will become Cl negative, that's the only way it'll be happy. Sodium, 11, 11 electrons, wants to be like its closest noble gas, neon, which is 10, so it needs to lose an electron, so the only way sodium will be happy is if it loses that electron. Magnesium, Mg, 12 electrons, wants to be like neon, its closest noble gas, needs to lose two electrons, so you end up getting Mg2+. And these are the different ions. Now why do we need these ions in the body? Two major reasons. One, because they have a charge associated with them, they can pull water around the body. Water, being two hydrogen, one oxygen, has a slight positive charge, slight negative charge, and therefore is influenced by positive and negative charges. So water balance, that's one. Two, is we can accumulate these charges inside of a cell and outside of a cell and create what we call an electrical chemical gradient, also known as a resting membrane potential, which then allows for muscles to contract and neurons to fire off. Now, we don't ingest these ions in this form usually. We usually ingest them in the salt form where they're bound together. And usually the positive balances out with the negative and we're left with that salt, like table salt, sodium chloride. This is actually the electrolyte. Once we ingest it, the water in our body dissolves it, breaks it apart, and it forms the ions. This is why electrolytes and ions are important.